Alright guys, to do this, we're just gonna come back to our store and our pricing rules. I'm gonna open this this up in a new uh in a new tab. So open up a new tab. Then we'll go back to the shopping cart in this one. So view cart. Now we'll come back to our new tab. Now we'll go to configuration. And back to our pricing rules. Now I'm gonna apply this to an actual uh an actual product. So I'm gonna clone it. I'm gonna say um shipping for snake. I'm gonna save that. So let me go back to my actual my actual pricing rules. I'm gonna change the name of the other one. So pricing rules. Let's start by, com by configuring this one, so I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to change the actual name of it to be uh, Shipping for Zebra. But the only thing that needs to change that's different is in our actual conditions, we need to give it an actual SKU to apply this price to. So we're going to add an action. We're going to say uh, Data Comparison. They want to be the the commerce product line item, then the the product, then the SKU. Now we can actually enter the SKU for this one. So this one's going to be our zebra, or my zebra. So you want it to be equals. Now you just enter your SKU. You can enter multiple multiple SKUs with a comma, but I'm just gonna do it for the zebra. We're gonna save it. So this says entity is gonna be a product and has this SKU before it applies the actual amount to the product. So let me change this amount. And I'll make it 1050. So 1050 without the decimal, so the Drupal puts it in there. Now um, let me make sure the name actually changed. So let me go to settings. That didn't change it. And now I'm gonna save it with that new uh, new condition and change the action to be 1050. And now I'm gonna go back to the actual snake one. Store configuration pricing rules. We're gonna do the same thing for the snake. We're gonna edit it. We're going to add a new condition that says if it doesn't have this SKU, don't apply the pricing rule. Um, data comparison. This can be the product. Product. Then the SKU. So we'll save that or continue. Now we just want it to be the actual snake SKU or whatever SKU you have. Now the shipping rates are going to be different for these uh, two products. And I'll show you what that looks like over here in my other page. So I already have a uh, snake and a zebra in here. And here's my old shipping. So when we refresh the page. Let me minimize one of those. Here's what our actual uh, shipping looks like now. So it's per product you get a uh, 5.25 for the snake, and then 10.50 for the actual uh, zebra. So let me go and add a uh, elephant to here, or let's add a lion. He's cooler looking. So we'll add a lion to his cart, and he ha he should have no shipping to him because we don't have actual rule. But say we wanted him to be uh, the lion to actually be ten dollars shipping. All we do is come back to our actual rules. Um, we 
Then we can just clone, uh, let's say, the zebra. And we will give the lion a different shipping amount, and it's really easy. So now we just uh, edit our condition right here, because we want to change the skew. So edit that one. Mine's just lion 001. And let's change the amount to maybe, um, let's say 850. So we're going to edit this one. We'll make it 850. We'll save that. And we'll save the whole thing. And now when we update our actual shopping cart, so let's view the cart, his shipping should pop in there as 850. So that's pretty easy. So let me, um, now let me go and uh, add a promotional code that can take away the shipping.